We're rescuing animals from the shelter that are not able to be put up for adoption for whatever reason. Maybe they have a medical issue, um, maybe they're underage. I'm very, very passionate about AFRP and the work I do for them because without them, many times it's, it means life or death. We've been working with Animal Friends Rescue Project for as long as I can remember. I've been with the shelter for almost 17 years and they've always had a part in helping save animals that didn't have any other options that were too shy or scared or sick or injured. The best thing about working in the AFRP vet clinic is seeing the success stories. Seeing animals that come in that sometimes are near death and would be euthanized at a shelter, not because they want to, but because they don't have the resources to fix these animals. And we work with them and we care for them and sometimes we have the animals here for months and then you see them adopted. That's what it's all about. I started out with moms with kittens. It's kind of a way to start, pretty basic and simple. Or a mama cat that may have been turned in or found out in the woods. And I started feeling bad for the older ones, so I started fostering their older kitties, ones that had been there a long time, didn't have a good chance at getting home. I don't think I fostered a cat that I, or kitten that I haven't cried when I've given it up. <laughs> and they all deserve a home, and I don't see why you have to be perfect to get a home. The transport is the hard part, you know, we've got all these groups that want to help and want to take the animals, but how do we get them there? We don't have the resources to do that, so Animal Friends Rescue Project just sends out an email to their awesome volunteers and they, they find someone and they get them to where they need to go. We take the dogs from, and cats from the shelters in Salinas when they're overcrowded and they're at risk sometimes of euthanasia if they don't get adopted here in Salinas. Um, they get transported out and over there they get a better chance of getting adopted and usually they get adopted right away. At least once a month we're taking 20 to 25 dogs and some cats a month and then sometimes two times a month. AFRP is heaven sent with all the support that they provide Monterey County Animal Services. Uh, a key factor is our transports to out of county and out of state um, rescue groups and humane societies. And they're key and vital to keeping our euthanasia rate down. It was really important, I think, to my daughter and I that we get a rescue dog. Um, and so, um, I think that's what made this so special is that um, going somewhere like AFRP where we knew that if, um, if, they, if they weren't around, Louie wouldn't be around. So um, he was in the Selena shelter and nobody wanted him because every time they picked him up he just peed all over him. So, um, so you can imagine nobody wanted to adopt poor, poor Louie and, um, and so AFRP kind of gave him that last little chance and we're so glad they did. Everybody can do something. if. If you can't um, adopt, maybe you could foster. I would just ask that everybody open up their hearts and give generous, generously to AFRP because then we can do what we're best at, which is saving lives.